Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we review movies and TV shows, including all your favorite superheroes from Marvel Comics to DC Comics and much more. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment official channel. Let's go, baby! As we continue on on the new Disney Plus series by Marvel Studios, Ms. Marvel, this is episode 5, and of course this is a spoiler review, so please pause this, but before you leave, before you leave and watch that show, give me a thumbs up to help this channel grow so I can always give you guys new content, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. That's what you gotta do, so after you do all that, watch the show, then come back, because I definitely want you to hear my review, my theories, and I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback, comments, and what you guys want to see and hope to see and what your guys' theories, of course. So, let's get into it. In episode 5, gave us a flash pack, uh, blah, sorry, a flashback episode of Kamala, aka Ms. Marvel's grandmother, Aisha, and Austin, how they met, which is a, a, a typical love story. While explaining the time travel works or another way, we also learn that Aisha is from Norm, which many theories in my mind came up where I believe what she could be. Uh, and we're definitely going to uh, get into that. So we'll see if they become true or not. But as usual, Marvel always has a plan and I'm just trying to figure out Marvel's next step as well. <laughs> so, in this episode, this whole it took a historic. Uh, Mar- this episode took a historic and added a Marvel story with it. So there's some truth to it, but then there's some fictional. So, uh, not to confuse anybody. And they said that before the episode starts. So, hopefully, nobody was offended. And I hope I'm not offended anybody. I'm just acknowledging the fact they did take a historical moment about the British but added a Marvel story to it. So I know that it's not all real. I know there's some fictional stuff. So And also they didn't really go deep into that historical event but they kept it on the Marvel story. So I'll only focus on the Marvel story of this episode. So don't worry everybody. Uh what I like about this episode besides all that is just the um, I like the idea of them going back of showing the history of the Khan's family I like the idea of that Kamala is uh, ancestors once willed that bangle and it gives me the idea of that there's there was an Avengers before the Avengers of the Avengers, of course. So, I just wonder how far they're willing to push that. And I think that's really cool, if there is. And they're they're teasing a bigger thing that we have not noticed since Phase 1. That's what I like about this episode. It just reminds me of that. And I definitely cannot wait to see what else the future holds for Marvel. Uh, let's talk about Aisha. Aisha. So, and they start off, they showed her that she's fighting off the British uh, in, in, in Crunchy, or I forgot where they were from. Sorry, but uh, in Pakistan. Uh, I like how she falls in love with Hassan. He's a guy who is somebody who stands up and who's against the British and telling everybody... You know, we don't need them. We got to boot them out and get them out. And I think that she fell in love with his toughness. He's a guy who has a a limp leg or injured leg. And he uses a cane or a stick. And I like the idea of how they met. Of course, they sped it up where they're eating together. And then the next morning she's back in the rose garden and she's pregnant so they did a time jump without even telling us and they didn't even say how long so 
I know it wasn't a week, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, so she was pregnant with uh, Nani, uh, Sana, and we learned that she's against uh, Naj- Najima, and obviously Najima uh, stabs her Aisha at the at the at the train. And what I what I think about that is just the fact that this was a loop time because we're going to talk about the time travel in a bit. This explains like this bangle has been in uh, Ms. Marvel's family for a minute. And I would like to believe this is one of the theories I want to share is I think Aisha is like part of the internals. I think that they weren't supposed to be in this world and they're not trying to uh belong in this world now Aisha just like um some of the characters from the movie internals they stayed on earth and they were living regular lives and so was Aisha but uh Najma she was kind of like no I don't want to be here I don't care how this world works I want to go back to norm and she's willing to destroy everything on Earth to get back to Nor. And I I think that's what the unique about this is. Is they're not... They know that they can't dwell in the event. So this is why you didn't see Aisha show up in the Avengers. This is why they didn't mess with historical events. It just reminds me of the internal. So this this show is definitely connected to that. And of course the Avengers. And, and other Marvel shows and movies. But this just shows how. They they weren't supposed to be there. And. Even Aisha kind of. Messed up the plan by just. Falling in love. Giving birth to a child. To a human. I don't think she's fully human. Because she's not from this dimension. And this really messes everything up in so many ways, and it destroyed the plan, obviously. And that's why she got stabbed by her. And I think what's going to happen is, is because, like in Loki, the 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 thing the the biggest so, so there's a there's a big rule in Nor, and I think that big rule is going to be the big rule which I believe it's not to be part of that universe uh, not live a regular life not you know doing things that you ain't supposed to do you're supposed to stay in your dimension they stay in theirs but I think she was the original one to break that rule and I would like to say it if you want to go back she did it before Loki so, but Loki broke the rule. Uh, a lot of people have broke that rule, obviously, even Wanda. So, I think there's a big rule in Nor, and she broke it. I think she broke it before everybody else did. And I think that's what they're trying to say. Uh, the veal. So, after, you know, uh, Kamala, who goes back in time by accident finds her grandma as a child and brings her back to her dad which would be Kamala's great great grandfather and uh, you realize that all oh, this was kind of like she was the one through the whole story with the stars and stuff and then you realize that oh man now uh, Ms. Marvel's mom knows who her identity is which is nightlight but they and then they have that heartwarming moment where just like episode four it was another heart it was a healing and but i guess in this episode they needed to explain more how how they were bonding that mother daughter mother grandma daughter bonding moment and they all understand each other and they're realizing like oh Nani was telling the truth the whole time and Kamala's mom was just explaining to her that she's holding her so tight because she's not ready to let her go because 
she is becoming an adult she is going to be living on her own and she just loves her so much because this is what Nani never gave to her in her mind and Nani was just like hey I'm sorry too and maybe they realize this is the journey that they needed so it's very heartwarming and that's why I really love that show let's talk about the time traveling so this is um, this is a loop a time travel closed loop so what that means is when she used the bangle, uh, she came through a ripple of time, like a, like a hole, a rip hole, and Ashia uh, looped the time. So it was not out of, like Kamala had, it wasn't her will, it was, it was meant. So she was predestined to do it. This is a time loop. This happened in Terminator. This happened in Games of Thrones. This happened in uh, Harry Potter, where you realize that somebody in the past made sure in the future that somebody was going to come back in time. So that's a loop. So she understands. So Kamala was always the one in the story and they never knew about it. This kind of like it happened in Harry Potter. This happened in other shows, of course, like Tent, whatever. So it's a typical movie or, well, not movie, but TV show that did the easy. This is a more easy way and somewhat confusing of a time travel loop where the loop until the loop the loop won't close until the actual event happened of the person going back in time and so it wasn't in Ms. Marvel's will but they did this in the Avengers Endgame so it wasn't I know some people are like wow I didn't see this this is so unique it's been done before and I'm not downplaying it but this was a safe way to do it. And I'm glad they went this way, honestly. Personally, I'm glad they went this route. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, so, with the time traveling rule, I I think what's going to happen is when they do this, the, the TVA is not going to come arrest her because she wasn't seen by her great-grandfather and her grandma was a child so she wouldn't remember it so it didn't if you remember how they explain in the Avengers Endgame and Loki with the lines and how the roots spread so Kamala didn't do it because it's time travel loop so it was already predetermined it was supposed to happen so there was going to be a time travel break where the TVA had to break in because it's so it's still the straight line. It's still growing, but the roots of it loop like pockets. So like, that's when Loki's uh, Sylvie stabbed Kang the Conqueror, that broke the timeline. Uh, look at uh, an Avengers in game where uh, Bruce Banner was learning about that. So if you take the, the the time the st when they were gonna take the stones back in time to fix what happened that Thanos did, if they would have messed up, it would have broke it would have broke the timeline, and things would have been much worse or much better. So it's time loop. So Kamala didn't do nothing out of the ordinary. So she did what she was supposed to do. So she had no control of it. She was just meant to do it. Which is kind of like out of her free will. So it's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, when you get to. Uh, after that. Like I said after all that happens. And after they had their heart. Heart whelming moment. We learn that. Uh, Carmen. Has his mother's power. And a lot of people say. That she was kind of. I can see some people say no she did she sac she actually did love her son and she did this for him some say no she she ditched him and she cared about going back to nor but what ha I think what's gonna happen is she cursed Carmen I think I think I think this is gonna be his curse and I think he's gonna be like a, a bomb a ticking bomb like I think he's gonna become a villain or antagonist kind of like Wanda 
in the uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I think he's going to obsess with finding his mother. I think in his mind, he's going to find a way to bring his mom back. And I think it has to do with time travel. Because now they put that in the show. Now, if they did a season two, which I do hope, but the only two shows so far is What If and Loki are getting a season two. So I don't know if they're going to go back on this on the show. But uh, if they wanted to, they could. They could do this. He's going to find a way to bring his mom back. And this is going to break the timeline. This is because this won't be a loot. It, it's just something that she sacrificed. And it's, she's betting on him to do that. So, but how would this, because they don't, the one thing they did leave out on this show, and they did this on purpose, is Kamala doesn't know how to. We just know that when she blocked, like, the blade trying to, from her getting stabbed, she just blocked it. And then, boom, send her back. So she does not know how to use her abilities yet. And so they're leaving that open for a reason. And I personally think this show deserves a season two so far. But they could go back on season two, go back to Pakistan, have this moment, explain where the red daggers are. I mean... The, I mean, when they left, the chemo was talking about he had, like, some warrants that the U.S. government wants to get, which in comic books, he joins the uh, the Thunderbolt team. But that's here or there. Will they do it? I don't know. I think he'd be better as... I think the MCU is going to go with the Young Avengers with him because they're not really going comic book accurate, but they that's typical. Who cares, right? We, we all have to accept that, but... I think that's what could happen. There's a lot of ways it can go down, but I think on the next episode, uh, episode six is the final one. I think there's going to be some big, big moments going on. So I cannot wait for that. I But like I said, this time traveling thing was just a loop. But I think if they were going to do break the time traveling rule, uh, Carmen is going to be the one to be the one to break it because I think he's dealing with grief he's he's like Wanda right now he has a lot of grief he's sad and he has all this ability and he doesn't know how to use it and now he definitely does not feel normal but I like how him and Bruno have bonded and now they're going back to Jersey so we're going to see what happens next on that but other than that, this episode, I'm giving this episode 1 out of 10. I'm giving this a 10 because I think the acting was amazing. I think I like the idea that <laughs> it was kind of funny. Like, uh, Ms. Marvel's mom didn't realize, like, she can track her daughter on her phone. <laughs> and that was funny. Uh, typical, typical. But I like that. Uh it's a great show and I, I think it's inspiring and I think uh, like I said I think little girls would want to be her a little bit like Ms. Marvel I, I think it's amazing um, now I hope in this next episode we see like uh, Brie Larson I think we should see Captain Marvel I think we gotta see an Avenger show up like I think just because how this show's going is she is a fan. Miss Marvel is a fan of the Avengers and she's working hard to meet one of them because now she's becoming the superhero. Should it be Spider-Man? Yeah, but I know it's Sony. It's a Sony thing. I get it. But other than that, it was great. I love this show. So that's my review. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment, official channel subscribe hit that notification so you can always be updated with all my latest content so thank you and peace